It's Jason Bourne. It's Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> oh, these lights kind of gave me a headache all of a sudden. But that's okay. That's okay, Dad. That's okay, Dad. This is way more vanilla than this coffee, I feel like. Yeah, it's super milky. But that's okay. Dad. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. Welcome How's it back. going, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Best of Five featuring myself. And also myself. Bitch ass Chris. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How about yourself? I feel like I'm not awake yet. Yeah, we had a quite a long day yesterday, but I'm a little tired myself, but that's what this it's... milk coffee is for. Yeah, I don't think there's any caffeine in this. I thing. don't think there's any at all. Do we have any? I think we have one. We Can, can we split one? I mean, I we have an energy drink. after this coffee. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 102. This is crazy. Yeah. I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. About the oh, fact sorry. That we're triple digits already. Uh, yeah, you're good. I was just going to say, I hope you enjoyed last week's St. Patrick's Day episode with Dakota. I went too hard. G, G went ham. And that's, he went ham before he even got there. So, yeah, you know, the, the weird thing about uh, trying to be active in the community is you have a lot of meetings. And now that we're millennials, we like to drink with our meetings. Yeah, because it's totally like, okay all of a sudden which i th- i'm cool totally cool with i just think it's funny i'm an advocate for it for sure as you can tell it's like that old uh uh what is that adam uh sam adams commercial where they're all at a business lunch and they're like i'll do water i'll do a water with a lemon and he's like i'll do a sam, I'll adams. Do a sam adams like hmm i'll also do a sam adams it's like that but real life now how's it taste motherfucker samuel jackson yeah that's chappelle show it's my beer yeah Anyway, <laughs> that's what I think. Bill Burr was in that sketch. He is. Yeah, he actually had hair. He did. So do you, like, do you not? Can you not scream at me? I'm not screaming because that's how I talk. <laughs> All right, now we're off the rails. You we never probably, see my movies. We should probably move on. <laughs> they ate me. A fucking shark ate me. Moving on <laughs> to round one. <laughs> that's my favorite skit. Round one. That's fair. I just hope he made he made more Mexican jokes. That's fair. All right, Chris, you pulled the first one out of the hat, which is mine, by the way. So there's that. What's the subject? The subject is Generation Z. So, G, Generation Z, what was your inspiration I don't to know, write this down to talk shit on them? Just talk, I mean, talk about them. Just talk about them, man. You have yeah, one. I do. How does that feel? Not only do I have one, there are a lot of Gen Zs that I personally know because they're all my nieces and nephews. I have, like, a spectrum, too. Like... <laughs> My oldest nephew is 22, so he's, like, the older Gen Z. And then the youngest Gen Z in my family is, like, 16. What's the cutoff? Is it 96? Uh, no, it's, like, 2000, I think. Like, No way. Yeah. I thought it was, like, before that. Because I know people that are, like, technically millennials that are still late 90s. It's always that weird in-between thing that you're either one or the other because they don't have official dates unless somebody writes a book about it yeah so it's always floating that's a weird thing with generations is like the only official recognized generation is the greatest is the the baby boomers on well, the greatest generation but now like officially recognized is the baby boomers for some fucking reason yeah but everything all, else is just named yeah but their their generation also is like like three decades long i feel like yeah because there's like millions of them <laughs> literally that's wild yeah yeah, I don't know. So I, I guess for me, it, it was just kind of just wondering, like, your thoughts on that. Just because, excuse me, excuse me again, indigestion is awesome. Um, wow. Yeah, getting older is awesome, just by the way, just letting you know. For yeah. you young Gen Zers watching this. Uh, I'll, all, I'll none of you. you. I don't think any of them would. Mark, you might be watching this shit, man. Yeah, um, <sighs> yeah no, it, it's it's funny because, like, I was reading this thing the other day that's like, like, well, you don't know what's hip and cool. It's like, well, now it's your age. Well, that like, was hip and cool. Now it's not hip and cool. So it's like the transition of just, like, culture of what's in and what's out is yeah, cause yeah. like oh i forgot to mute my phone oh bullshit whoopsie um whoopsie daisy yeah so it's just it's just weird because they do have like a different mindset I, I i talked to my niece yesterday and she has no idea who bob marley is yeah i mean i don't know what to tell you my gen zers know who bob marley is like she's like i just don't know i was like you don't know who like that i, I feel like you just like learned about bob marley yeah how old your niece she's a freshman okay yeah i just don't know when gen z stops yeah. so yeah, I don't know. I would say like middle schoolers probably. And I feel like what what they're going through in the sense the sense of movement and you know like whether you want to call it wokeness or just kind of like them trying to be better is something that we went through in high school. Mm-hmm. But it was obviously in a, in a different stage of, of of shit. Yeah. And also, I don't know. I don't. Rent, I don't realize. I don't know if we were also that aggressive towards a change or like even like being like you're fucking wrong. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there That's was there were some that people that were like super against it. 
are for it, like on the extremes, but most people just didn't really care. Like, oh, okay, I can't say that anymore. Okay, fine, I don't care. It's and then like, other people, like, if you said it, they'll be like, oh, hey, just so you know, you can't say that anymore. Well, I think and it's like, oh, okay. They, they're such a unique generation, too, because they're the first generation that, like, well, you ask them how to, like, mimic a phone and they'll do this instead of like this yeah i was telling someone like they go like this and yeah. like this but they don't go like this i like, was like, like what like, like how do you take the a picture heck? you know yeah. like so like so they, they are the ones that grew up with technology like literally in their pockets so like they have that privilege of just like knowing like immediate information mm-hmm. and i think the consequence of that is which, tiktok is tiktok yeah for sure <laughs> fucking tiktok is worse no I, no the consequence of that i think is that they expect change faster than what human society has made change become mm-hmm. you know what i mean so, I don't know. And I might be wrong because I also don't have a kid and also I'm not that young. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, just, I just feel like they're like, we need this change now. We need this. I'm like, okay, chill. Like, it, that's not going to come. Like, you're going to be really disappointed. Yeah, for real. On how progress works in this country or just the, the world in general, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I don't know. And, like, every generation tends to shit on the younger generations. But I feel like Gen X and millennials were generally cool with each other until recently. And then, like... The boomers started shitting on millennials, and then Gen X is like, yeah, fuck them, millennials. And it's like most of the people that I see like on the internet shitting on millennials, I'm like, yo, how old are you? And they're like, oh, I'm 38. I'm like, bro, you're a millennial. Yeah, they hate that shit. Yeah. It's like you're sitting there talking shit how millennials are lazy, and I'm like, you are a millennial. Well, and, that's, and that's like the one thing that I, I was like looking at, too, is that. I, I'm trying to be better about like not being annoyed with the younger generation because again they're just young and like I didn't yeah. know like so why the fuck would they know kind of thing? They're young and dumb. That's literally uh, how it works. But there's they're also the generation that's a little bit more aware towards other people. I feel like and maybe, they're, maybe they're, not all of them, but there's a majority of them that kind of. Like, I would I would agree that like Gen Z is the most empathic younger generation. Yeah, yeah. Because like I know for a fact, me in high school, I didn't give a shit about anybody yeah, else for sure, absolutely. Yeah. But then that also gets countered because they do stupid like. TikTok shit that are completely yeah, ignoring dude. everyone's feelings. I'm I'm so so it's like it's that weird like they they're uh, emotionally invested on like social issues. But are they only that because it's like that's the good yeah. thing to do? But then they go yeah. like block traffic to do a TikTok dance and they don't care who they're because they have to get those likes. You know, but that's, I'm like, you guys are weird. Yeah, we're in that we're such in that weird like transition of how the world works now. Because like everything's always been out about order and this this and that and now it's like well I I matter so then therefore. I can go to Home Depot and do this fucking crazy ass dance. Yeah, yeah. And like everyone has to be okay with it. Like they keep calling them the me generation because it's all about like themselves, which is partially That's true. Our fault. But yeah, it's partially true. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, but they also care about like rights of yeah, like. <laughs> but again, again, like people, and that's and that's like where that, I think it's a question you'll never better resolve is like. Why why do they care? Is it because of the status of like, oh, yeah. I just gotta seem like this person on Yeah, it's like this, I or, have to be like, to be cool, I have to like care about other people. I which w- is weird. I wonder if there's like a like a if they're gonna go through like this type of like identity crisis because of all that shit. You know what I mean? I mean maybe. I mean like back yeah, when no, we were in high school. All of them, but you know. Yeah, back when we were, we were in high school, like if you played Pokemon cards at lunch or played magic at lunch or even like Fucking talked about D and D Everybody would give you shit, like Still hardcore. Do. Still do, Chris, loser. Yeah, but now it's like, oh, wait, you don't play D&D, you fucking loser? What are you, a nerd that doesn't play D&D? What do you mean? Like, it's so weird, that transition. Like, comic book movies. Like, when the first Iron Man came out, I was obsessed with it. I was like, I love Iron Man. And yeah. like, what are you, some kind of nerd? And then now it's like 30 movies later. Everyone's like, what do you mean you haven't watched any of this uh, Phase yeah. 4? I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I and it, again, it's like I, I I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, we've all been fine. Like I I can imagine like when like the boomers during, during like the whole like sexual revolution and like the you know the like the height of like the drug and acid era and like, yeah, yeah. With music and like the rebelness of that. Yeah, like I bet you they thought the same exact thing that we're thinking. You know? Yeah, probably. And I mean, at least they own a house. There's that's nice. Yeah. At least they can afford to they, own a house at their age. Yeah, they got into it. Well, there's that. I like how it just kind of shit on every single generation. <laughs> Except Gen X, really. We all fucking suck, you guys. Yeah, we didn't really shit on Gen X. I don't know what... We don't what, need to. They do it themselves. Yeah. <sighs> I kind of blame... Hair bands I kind of blame Gen X for, like, the shitty 80s music, though. That's, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's the worst thing they did, probably. Yeah, they made Bon Jovi relevant. Ooh, that's on you guys. <laughs> how dare you? Moving on. Fucking dicks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. 
All right, Chris, subject number two. Which is what, G? Because this isn't the second time we're doing this. It's the third. <laughs> Do you like Las Vegas? Uh, Do you like Las Vegas? So I guess kind of, this probably a lot of people do this, but like my cousins, my nephews, um, when I turn 21, that's the only time we go to Las Vegas. I haven't that's been. That's literally it. I've never been to Las Vegas without my family. I think it's been like almost like eight years since I've been. Yeah, I went last summer for my two nephews' birthdays. What do you do in Vegas? Uh, drink and gamble. That's about it. And I'm not good at either of those. So I don't like going to shows because all the shows are kind of stupid. Like my entire family, except for me and one of my nephews, uh, they went to like this Cirque du Soleil Beatles show and they know I fucking can't stand the Beatles. He likes a few songs. I'm like, ah, I don't really. He likes like two songs. Uh just like yeah i don't like the beatles and they're and, all wing songs they're not even Beatles. yeah they're not even they're just john lennon and paul mccartney songs it's, separately it's just straight ringo after the beatles yeah uh so they're like oh we're gonna go do this you're like you know i don't i literally can't stand the beatles and they're like well everyone else likes the beatles i'm like cool then everyone else can go and they gave me shit for not going i was like you guys know i don't like the fucking beatles you know i feel like we've got to be better as people to just be like yo someone doesn't want to go like don't get mad yeah. Jesus. I was like, hey, you're mad at me for not going. Pick a different show. And they're like, well, everybody wants to go to this show. It's like, well, then go to the show. I don't have to go. Exactly. That's what I said. And everyone was mad at me. And they're like, well, you're not going. Boo. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm going to go drink. And me and my nephew literally in the same hotel that the show was in, we just found a random bar and we're like, yo, let's get fucked up. And we had like the most ridiculous Vegas drinks. Like there was one that had alcoholic like bubbles on it because it was in a bathtub like, oh god so it had like a drink and then it had like lavender bubble things on it it was amazingly delicious yeah it was so good i spent like probably like 150 dollars on three drinks because they were like the the big ones yeah, yeah it was great it was great absolutely I, amazing i feel like if i were to go now i wouldn't enjoy it as much as i did like if in my 20s yeah i'm just too old and tired now man i mean because yeah i used to be i used to be quite the partier yeah, I used to, you know, be able to drink a lot, and now that I'm older, I don't drink as much. I still drink a lot, but it's like you don't drink to get smashed, like relative to like my age and my liver. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, I can still, I can still party, but it's gonna be like, yeah, just three beers and a, two shots, and I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also, like now that I'm older, I think I spend more money in Vegas because I would prefer to go to like nicer places. Yeah, like nicer bars, go out to a nice dinner, stay in a good hotel. But, like, when I was younger, I couldn't give two shits where I slept. And now I'm like, mm, I don't want to get herpes by sitting on the, the toilet. So I'm going to yeah, I don't think I'm get a little better better hotel. I think, for me, I don't. I think I would just not like Vegas anymore just because it's too crowded. Yeah. I, yeah, I could see that. And when I was there in, like, early September, late August or whenever I went, it wasn't crowded that bad at like all. I, I feel like Miami ruined that for me. Okay. I can see that. Because it's like, yeah, it's crowded, but it's also crowded with a bunch of people that want to feel like there's something. Yeah, Vegas does have that weird like superficial vibe to it. Yeah, because like you're walking down the street and every single person is thinking the same thing. Like, hey, I'm so fucking cool. I'm in Vegas. Like, yeah, that's literally everyone's mindset. Like, I hate dressing up, so I don't want to just go to Vegas and like dress oh, up. Oh, dude, I don't dress up anymore. I'm so over dressing up. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, last time I went to Vegas was pretty rowdy. It was a good time, but it was also like, I don't know. I had a, a buddy of mine throw up on a stripper. That was fun. <laughs> Never we done got, that before. We got kicked out. We got kicked out of the strip club. Um, well, outs- I would hope so. Outside of Vegas, like outside of like the actual like strip. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Well, there you go. Uh, but then also, yeah, it was uh, last time I went there. It was uh, the 16th of September is when we went. So it was the day before my birthday. But it's also Mexican Mexican Independence Day. Yeah. So we went to the club in uh in the Cosmo, and we just like went. I went ham because I was the only guy out of the group of the of buddies that spoke Spanish. Uh huh. So I was just like hanging out with all the ladies. I thought I was the coolest guy ever. Like every hour, like a button would like un- like unbutton. I was I was on one, dude. It was awesome. Yeah, showing off your tattoo that no one knows you have. Yeah, yeah, pretty much <laughs> that. And then yeah, I woke up the next day like super hungover, and then I had to go on a flight. And then the person that was supposed to pick me up didn't pick me up, so I had to walk. Like I had to take a cab, but then I have I didn't have any money. Yeah, so I had like the cab just stop like until like I like I couldn't. So I started walking to my car at that point. Uh, I was just those the worst. Hell yeah, hangovers are just not good, man. Like I don't know if I can like if I go to Vegas, I will rage hard and then feel like yeah. ass. See, yeah, last couple times I went to Vegas, I didn't really rage that hard like 
we had like we got a bottle of champagne from our uh driver who picked us up at the airport because apparently they do that now hmm. nice. yeah uh because it was my nephew's birthday oh gotcha. or nephew's birthday uh so they gave us a bottle of champagne we never opened it we bought a 24 pack of like beer did not finish them <laughs> yeah i wouldn't and that's like, the thing is like if you can just open carry like and sure. there were 10 of us yeah let me remind you there were 10 of us there and we didn't finish 24 beers. I mean, let's, let's put it this way. I think the last time I went to Super Ham was when we went to Durango. So I don't, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't need to go to Vegas to have a good time, man. That's that, And I guess that's true, too. It's like anytime we hang out with each other, it doesn't matter where we are. We could figure out some dumb shit to do. Like call Ben Poo in the morning at yeah. 1 in the morning to yeah, play call his, song, his song Durango. Too. As we're walking back to our hotel room. <laughs> That fun fact took us like what twenty thirty minutes to walk downtown, yeah, and took us like an hour to walk from downtown back to our hotel. We we're fucked up. Yeah, we we're so fucked up. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. Is like, I think I'm just past that stage where it's like I just want to go like to like a, a club and dance and do this because I never really, I don't know, like I enjoyed it, but then I was also kind of like this is a super expensive one. Two, it's like super sweaty and kind of gross. Yeah, dude, clubs have always grossed me out, and like three all the time, and like three like. I guess back then you would go for the do a tent of finding someone to like you know girl to party with afterwards or whatever. Yeah, yeah. kind of like no, I'm good. Yeah, same. I just don't care anymore. I'm like I rather go sit at like a nice and Vegas quiet is kinda, sports bar. Vegas is kind of. I don't even like sports. Vegas is kind of gross. Not kind of. It's very gross. Like it's not a it's not a clean city. Yeah, not at all. Oh, look at us talking in our thirties like I know we're fucking adults. Well, back in my day, yeah. I remember when Vegas wasn't under construction. I remember pulling an all nighter in Vegas. Or an all day, all day or nighter kind of thing. Yeah, like back in my twenties, like, I always wanted to do a twenty four hour turnaround. Where like we land in Vegas at like whatever noon, right? Then we literally party all night and all the next day until we get back on the plane at noon. Well, n- ish, you know, whenever we had to leave to the airport without even getting a hotel. Oh, that would be awful because I would probably like to get a hotel. Yeah, or drugs. Yeah, so <laughs> or that both. that was the plan, but I never did that. Or but anyway. <laughs> I always thought I wanted to do that, and now I think about it, I was like, that was fucking stupid. I wonder when my mindset changed with all that shit. I think I was just getting exhausted being hungover. Six over. months ago. No, no, I think this was like <laughs> two, three years ago, dude. Probably more than that, because it was before like, pandemic. No, because the pandemic, I was, I guess I guess everyone was kind of getting shit faced. Yeah, pandemic. pandemic. I feel didn't like I count. went like, on a binge like, during the pandemic, for sure. I mean, I'm ev- like, didn't everybody? I don't have to drive. Fuck yeah, it. I don't have to literally do anything. Remember when the... <laughs> When they tried closing the liquor stores and everyone lost their shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> that was three years ago. Fuck. Yeah, that's wild. That feels like it happened like in the 90s, bro. Uh, oh, we should talk about the pandemic. We'll put that in the hat for sure. Well, let us know what uh, you guys think about Vegas because I'm sure you guys have different opinions. I've never, liked, never been a show guy either. Yeah. Like, it maybe, has to maybe, be like... Maybe Bruno Mars and Silk Sonic would have been cool. But like, it has but, to be like a show. Like, I'd go see Penn and Teller. But I'm not going to go see, like, the Blue Man Group or, like, Cirque du Soleil or any other bullshit. I'm going to go see, like, something good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, David, not David Blaine. Uh, David Blaine would be kind of sick, though. Yeah, I mean, like, shit like that. Like, I'll, I'll go see a magic show for Roger sure. Dangerfield? No, what's, the, what's the guy's name? I mean, the, if he's the, still the, in the, Vegas. The magician? What are you talking about? The, what's a famous magician? Famous magician. A lot of people? No, no, but, like, the one... Not David Blaine, the other dude. David Copperfield? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's in Vegas anymore. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, Rodney. How did you get <laughs> David Copperfield and Ron- Rodney Dangerfield? The syllables are all the same, bro. <sighs> think about on. it. No, we're moving David on. Rodney. We're moving on. Dangerfield, Copperfield. We're moving on. Round three. And almost got the roll because Nico got it first. It sounds like... He's all, Vatos Locos for life, man. That's... <laughs> It's definitely so, not what I sound like. It's so no, no that, that's how the movie blood and blood. <laughs> well, that's what I'm like. saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh goodness! All right, what's the next subject, bitch? No, I didn't get the role because I was too Mexican. Oh, that's fair. Anyway, the next subject: Would you get along with your clone? This is an interesting subject because is this assuming that your clone grew up the same way you did, or just has the same personality? Yeah. Like, so, like, so in in the context of this impossible hypothetical, not yet. your clone is just you as you are right now. I would hate me. Yeah. So it's not even a clone that like was cloned and then grew up. It was like literally like boop, duplicate, G number two. I don't know if I would like me. Yeah. That sounds really fucked up, but I don't know. I don't like me now. So why would I like me? Like, <laughs> I don't like myself. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we'd be fine, but I also I think 
I attract myself better to people who are completely opposite of me. Like we get along okay. really well because like we have a lot of similarities, but there's like those like little things that we do that like yeah, one of us is responsible, the other one is late all the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God, I'm good. Who, who do you think is who? Huh? Yeah, guess. Guess who's who. Guess who's who. Um, I don't know. I think I would definitely get along with my clone because I just get along with most people until I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to stop hanging out with them. Okay, so what if your clone was... Then we could just like play some co-op games together. It'd be great. Would you have synchronization at that point, you think, or no? I mean... You would have to think the I same wouldn't way, say right? like synchronization, but I would say like similar thought processes like if, processes. if, if we were if i was hanging out with you and your bitch ass clone like, you just get tag team so hard yeah I, you, that's why you would like it because some were just dp on that miserable on me yeah but no uh, <laughs> jesus also <laughs> more so just like you guys would like either finish each other's sentences or we'd be like riffing and you guys would either say the same thing or what do you think it'd be like there'd be an agreement it's like oh well we just didn't riff off of each other because we know how to f- like what we're going with uh it. yeah i i don't think we'd say the same thing but i think we'd be like very close because my brain is like super wild well because at some point you have to separate like that and that's like why i'm asking like when you you got yeah this yeah time is time i mean if you want to go even deeper in the hypothetical sure i'm just saying like I, I would be curious to see if you were if you were cloned as a baby separated and then, and then came, came together. back okay so it's like you literally have like the same dna you know like you have you have well, everything yeah, is like the same. but then you have to get into the nature versus nurture bullshit which That's I don't want to get into. Yeah. We're not talking about that. We're saying like copy, paste. Well, that wasn't specific. That's why I'm just bringing yeah. it up. Yeah. But I mean, if we copy pasted, probably. Okay. If 100%. You, if you think that they grew up, like they it didn't know they existed until right now. Yeah. You think you would get along with them? I mean, depends. They I, could be a complete douchebag and I have no idea. Because like they could literally, <laughs> Wait, they could you, literally assuming, like the Beatles. Are you assuming you're the better clone? Oh, I 100% know I'm the better clone. <laughs> what if he, they so could wait, they wait, could wait. like the Beatles, so my wait, guy? What if you're the clone? Then that sucks for the guy they copied off of because he has such a high standard to live to to his clone. Dude, yeah, you guys would hate each other. I mean, doubt it. I don't. If, but that's if, the if thing, it was like, like that. No, if it was like that, where it's like you had to figure out, like, wait, was I the clone or the person that got cloned? Well, see, and then if we are the clone and we think similarly, then we don't care. I mean, I feel like you would. I literally don't care. I literally would not care You'd at like, all. Oh, yeah, my life's better than that fucking clone. Fuck that Not guy. even. I would just be like, oh, okay, cool. His his name is <laughs> Andrew Christophus. You're, okay, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. I was trying to switch like here. <laughs> yeah, you get this just because how bad that was. Where is it at? Nope, nope. And his name is John C. <laughs> I'm so glad that was the one that I pushed. <sighs> this is what I was going oh, for. Oh, man. Nah, haters going to hate, man. Yeah. Haters going to hate. And you're just going to be wrong. I need to change it back before I mess that um, up again. Yeah, I don't know. I, it'd be kind of, I think what would be interesting about having a clone in that situation, be like, let's just play a song and see what it sounds like. But that's assuming, like, but that's things like, that's assuming they're, like, good as you are. Well, no, but if it's, like, Oh, the copy paste? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Since that was like what you were going for, so I was going. Yeah. Back yeah. To that. Oh, okay. You just can't change the parameters again. No, no. I was just that was my assumption. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. A question. That'd be kind of cool because I've always wanted to like what base off with someone. Yeah, not a base off, but like a base in. Yeah, let's go with that. A base on. Let's a go base, base on. on, not a base off. <laughs> yeah, but see, and then there you could just like do like a call and response thing because you guys are thinking the same thing. So it's like you go. Or some stupid shit. Like, you don't even have to communicate about it. You just know what you're playing. Mm, maybe. Well, maybe not you, because you fucking suck as a normal person. Well, you're so. not smart, so, I mean, I don't know if two people of you wouldn't make, be able to make that happen. Yeah, two people of me would be extra smart, because no, it no. compounds. I really feel like it'd be like, that's what I was going to play. Yeah. All right, Son of a bitch. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so you just not get anything done. Yeah. Stop thinking my thoughts. I was about to say that, too. <laughs> And then Chris be, murders himself. That'd be so stupid. Nah. What's, that, what's that joke? For, I forgot what comedian it was. He's like, you know, I've always wanted to have like a, a clone just because I just wanted to, you know, I've always wanted to know what it feels like to, you know, you know, kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> God, who was that? I know a joke you're talking about. I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Because yeah, yeah. like you thought I was going to say something weird. <laughs> 
I guess that's another question. If you're, yeah. if you were to masturbate your clone, is it masturbation or is it still sex? Uh, well, it's a completely other person at that time. And it's atoms and neutrons and protons and stuff. Sure. Now you're just saying words. So are you pleasing yourself? Uh, well, I guess you can't really no. say that now, right? No. Yeah. So even if like your clone wrote a like a biography about you, even though you're the same person, it's not an autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, once they become the next person, then they're a different person. Like, legally, they're, you're the same person. What if it was, like... Unless there's some clone doctrine in, like, 2040 yeah, or something. Yeah, because even if it was a separation of that, it would still be their biography, not that yours. Yeah. It would just you be living a separate life in a different conscience. Yeah. That's oh. wild, right? Yeah. I mean, glad... I mean, I guess we can clone sheep, but that's about it. Yeah, but they cloned sheep, like, as a baby. So, like, they cloned it into, like, a fetus yeah, and so, then grew so the fetus. More of, like, my... Yeah, more of what yeah. you're saying. Not, like, a copy-paste thing. So, they could clone you, but then they'd come out as a baby. I would want to clone myself, like, five years after. So, like, like have, like, five years of my life and then clone... Dude, that'd be wild. What if your parents did that? Instead of just having more children, they, they just, just they just cloned you. So you had like two or three brothers or sisters. Well, it'd be brothers if it's a straight clone that are just all five years apart, but it's the exact same DNA. But also science wise, who's to say that that's actually like that that's going to work? Like nature will always change things, right? It's like not every human body is the same. So therefore, why would every clone be the same as well? Yeah. I mean, development wise. Th- yeah. Physically the same, I would say. But like. Not necessarily... It's a multiplicity shit? Mentally the same. Oh, yeah. I forgot about multiplicity. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that is time. Let us know what you think about your clone, if you would like it or not. Or if you think we would like our clones, actually. That'd be... That'd be I wouldn't like your clone. You don't like me, so it's fine. Yeah, that's the point. You probably would love my clone, actually. Because it's not you. And then, yeah, it'd be me talking shit to me, <laughs> and you just joining me talking shit to me. Yeah, probably. It's like... But it had to be the clone. It would, it, yeah, it, it, could, it, it has to be the it clone. Be my, it couldn't be my clone. It had to be the clone talking shit to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I got you. You would defend my clone, but you wouldn't defend me. Correct. Yeah. But anyways, moving on. I would this. take your clone and talk shit to the OG. Yeah, and he would talk shit to me. Yeah. And then you guys would be like, yeah. Because you'll finally feel accepted. And then, yeah, then I'll, I'll kill him, so then I'll kill myself. Yeah. By killing him. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then I'll just, just watch you like. do it. Because I'd be like, my plan is working. <laughs> Damn, you got the wrong anyway, one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> he killed the wrong one. <laughs> you killed the wrong son. Or the wrong kid, the wrong kid, dad. Wrong kid dad. <laughs> I messed that up. That's fine. It's getting cut. Nope. Round four. Got it. You got it there. There you go. All right. Next subject. Subject number four. Number four. Um. No, we're not doing that. It's a uh, Coke versus Pepsi. Oh God. Okay. 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 Whoa. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm Team Coke. Dude, Pepsi, Mountain Dew. No, no, See, no, no, it's got to be just, just the Coke yeah, and Pepsi. Not yeah, Mountain then Dew. Pepsi, because they have Mountain Dew. No, no, no. But it's yeah. never going to be me drink. You'll never see me drinking a Coke ever. Even if the two options are Coke or Pepsi, I don't even like Pepsi. But I like Coke way less. Why? I will never voluntarily drink Coke. What if it's Mexican Coke? What about Mexican Pepsi? It's not as good. That's way better. You're wild, man. You're wild, man. What is Coke. I don't know. Well, I mean, sorry, cola. Yeah, I was like, uh, dude, didn't they call it Coke because there was coca leaves in it? There was. Is actually, there still? Yeah. I think there still is. I need no, to Google that. No, no. So they're they're the one of the very few companies who can actually put coca leaves or like can actually have. They import they coca import leaves. coca leaves, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but they used to have used to have like actual like it wasn't caffeine; it was like cocaine that. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the the stimulant for that. It's also crazy how it became. It started off as a fucking like medicine, and it's weird how many things have started off that way. And I've got okay, so it's a cocaine-free coca leaf extract, allegedly. No, it definitely is allegedly. That they obtain from Peru and Bolivia. Damn, they get the good good. Wow. Some of that per- Peruvian bam bam, dude. <laughs> that Peruvian bam bam, he yeah. says. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, I, I like coke. <laughs> a cola. <laughs> Was that the whole point of this bit? No, I don't oh, know. Right. I don't know. I just, just, you just write shit down home for the best, man. Uh I will. I like Diet Coke over Diet Pepsi because I think Diet it's Pepsi in itself is sweet enough compared to Coke. So when it's like that fake se- uh, sweetener in it, it makes Pepsi taste way too sweet. I feel like I grew up with more Pepsi in the U.S., but then when you go to Mexico, it's all Coke products for the most part. Yeah, that makes sense. It's awesome. Eh, I love Mexican I Coke. I mean, Coca-Cola. Mountain Dew with real sugar and it's fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see. 
You don't even know what you're talking about with this subject. I mean, I'm not. I don't. It was just a simple question that we had to just talk for seven minutes about. Yeah. How about any 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 variants outside of that vanilla Coke? Uh, seeing like cherry Coke is better than cherry Pepsi. I will yeah, say that. I'll say that. Yeah, cherry Coke is the superior cherry flavored soft drink of the two. Anytime there's like a Coke, I either get a Dr Pepper or a cherry Coke. But no one actually carries cherry Coke, which I is had a, absolutely infuriating. I had a cherry Coke in a minute. Now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, the only time I actually am able to get a cherry Coke is when I go like to the movie theater because I always get a popcorn and a cherry Coke. That's all I do every time. I will say if it comes down to the companies and how cool they they are, I would say Coke's a better, a cooler company. Like in the sense of how like they market themselves. Strong disagree. Uh, and also their vending machines are pretty cool. Strong disagree. You don't see any Pepsi like, oh, here's some variants of these different tasty flavors and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you do. They're gray. Oh, well, I haven't seen them. Yeah, because nobody carries Pepsi. <laughs> exactly. So <suck laughs> Why? It. I don't know. Coke wins. Yeah. But no, I, I strongly disagree. I think Pepsi's marketing campaign was so much cooler, especially back in like the oh, 90s the, and 2000s. Especially during the pandemic, you know, with... Kendall Jenner handing over a Coke to a protest uh, cop. That was kind of funny. That was I thought, oh, so bad. I so, thought that was hilarious, so but it was stupid. it wasn't supposed to be funny. I mean, I thought it was funny too because I'm like, this is so fucking bad. Like, yeah, like, like who fuck? who said this was okay? Yeah, that was so bad. Oh man. But anyway, also I guess even for like the Coke thing is like you you had like the names like share a Coke with this person. That was, that was a kind of cool campaign. I thought that was fucking stupid. Well, I couldn't never find my name, so there's a... Yeah, because your name doesn't exist. You're not a real person. It's true. Yeah, anytime you go to like a souvenir shop, yeah. there's no Guillermo. To be fair, there's no like Chris or Christopher ever because everybody... Oh, is, no, no, listen. No. Listen. Because everybody is named that, so it's never there. Oh, so you're saying that's sold, they're sold out. Yeah, they're sold happen. out every single time. I also could never find my daughter's name anywhere either. Morgan? Yeah. It's like the thanks widest, for, uh, it's like the widest name out yeah, there. Yeah, thanks for doxing. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but Take yeah. Your homework, Morgan. Yeah. Nah, she won't. Morgan. Morgan. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but I don't know. I just don't like Coke. It's like too bitter. It's like. Okay. I don't know. I don't like it. I guess. No, I, I changed my mind. I like, I like Pepsi. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I love Pepsi. I changed my mind. I like Coke. Okay, there you no, go. No, no. I, I still like prefer Pepsi. <laughs> no, I still 100% prefer Pepsi. Listen, I think, I think we can both agree with this. We're not drinkers of both of those products. Yeah, we don't drink Coke or Pepsi ever. So I, I mean, if, if I, I don't have to choose, I never, you know what I mean. Like, I, yeah, like yeah. I'm not picky with my my pop. I also don't drink as much soda as I thought I, thought I used to. I definitely. But don't. in return, I drink a lot more energy drinks than I drink something else. So is yeah, that really true. better? Is that really better? No, <laughs> not really. Not really. It's probably worse. But yeah, like the only I only drink like two kinds of soda when I go out: Dr Pepper or Mountain Dew. That's also, it. Okay, but also like. And both of those Here's, are Pepsi products. I hate well, also, Dr. Pepper's. I, yeah, I hate the fact that like they're still trying to like make Coke different or make Pepsi different. Like the like the whole like energy drink. Remember that that was a thing for like, oh, Coke. Oh God! Awful. You remember when he tried the energy sodas and were like, "This tastes disgusting." Yeah, and then they did like the whole like uh, the Pepsi Zero. Like they just like, just leave it for what it is, man. Like yeah. you don't have to. Tr- you just just market the same. shit. I will say Coca Cola Zero, like or Coke Vanilla Zero or whatever it's called. I don't know. Pretty D's. Now, okay, now if we're talking about specifically what products those companies have, I think Pepsi is more more superior for sure. Yeah, Pepsi wins. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I've always so it's kind of funny since, except for all the Mountain Dew like variants, it's like a fucking MCU movie. Yeah, and most of them are D's. It's like Loki season one, dude. Some of them are really weird because like yeah, we did that Stampede thing with Pepsi, <laughs> and we had a new Pepsi flavor every single day we were there. Uh, no like dude. not even new Mountain Dew. Like we didn't even drink the same. Or yeah, sorry, new Mountain Dew flavor. We didn't even drink the same ones. So both of us got new ones every day. It was wild. Yeah, but yeah, it was so wild. I wonder what what variants are for Pepsi. Uh, like vanilla cherry. I mean, probably zero, zero, sugar-free diet. I don't think sugar-free is diet. No, those are two different things. I'm gonna have to look that up because I don't trust you. I mean, actually, I don't even know. I don't drink. See, diet. see, he's making stuff up. Now I'm pretty sure there's like five different types of like low I, calorie, I can see that. like low calorie fucking Pepsi. Things. I can see that. It's wild. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Again, I just think like here. Okay, here's what I'll, well, here's what I'll say. I think Coca-Cola has the more signature logo and image. Yeah, because they've been around since like and Pepsi the like, late 20s. And Pepsi like had like a, a cool stint like during like the 80s and 90s when they actually had like really cool designs and shit. And then mm. just that kind of thing kind of fell off. Yeah. But Coke is just like, no, it's like red and white. Like, that's all we're going to do. We're not going to change it at all. And Dude, allegedly, 
they changed the color of Santa Claus. I don't I haven't looked into that story in a while, but Oh, they cooked it because of the Yeah. And also they have, they have polar bears, dude. They make they make polar bears like they have the like the last few surviving polar bears working for them. <laughs> drinking Coca Cola. I'm cutting you off on that one. Why? Because <laughs> that was stupid. They yeah. have polar bears working for them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, yes. Like, it's like like two out of the last like five that exist. Uh huh. They just drink Coca Cola and, and Dude, just think like if they're actually real and they're just like drinking Coke, they're all like fat and diabetic. Like, yeah. kill me, but kill me. But give me a Coke before you do. Hold on, give me one of them Cokes. It's so hot. <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> that got way out of hand. Final round. All right, Chris, for the fifth time, what's the final subject? I can't read. But what is your best trivia topic from one of our fantastic guests in the last probably four months? Five years. Yeah. I don't know which one. Yes. What is your best trivia topic? That's got to be Clark's, man. Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah. What's your best trivia topic? If you go play trivia, which you don't because you don't go out. But if you play trivia, what would you absolutely 100% nail every you, question? Oh, you were telling me that you're talking to the audience. No, I'm looking at you. No. If I was looking at the audience, I'd look at the audience. You did look at the audience and said, because you never go out. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Nothing. European soccer. No. Fuck no. I'd be so bad at that. Nuggets trivia. I think I'd be bad at that too. Nikola Jokic trivia. No, because I feel like they go really deep on that. I would probably say like like MCU shit. Yeah. Like like phase, movies. Like phase one through four. Or one through three, I'd be like, well, I could probably figure that out. Yeah, not phase four at all. Yeah, no, because I don't know. That's a, a blur. <laughs> that one's so shit. bad. So bad. Just terrible fucking shit. Yeah. I mean, I do pretty good on uh, most just like comic trivia in general. And it's not because I read comics actively. It's just because I've seen those movies so many times that it's generally the same. I think I'm pretty good at like just like pop culture. That's, yeah, probably just pop culture for the most part. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm decent at that, too. The problem is I just have a lot of random, useless knowledge. And it's not necessarily specific to, like, one thing. So it's just general trivia that would be good at? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I hate those questions that are, like, like they make you do math. So technically, everyone can get the answer. You just have to remember how to do the math problem. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Yeah, no, no, that shit. Yeah. I also hate, like, the overly, like, specific answers where... Like, I remember going to a trivia, I want to say it was at Weldworks years ago, and they're like, all right, so every answer starts and ends with the same letter. And I'm like, what? Yeah, don't make me think too hard on trivia, man. Yeah. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah, that shit's so dumb, though. I mean, the answer was snakes, but, like, every question had some bullshit like that. I was like, this is stupid. Just tell me. Like, don't make it, like, so cheesy. This makes it not fun. Well, that's the thing is, like, there's a lot of trivias out there that... They're all different, which is nice, but there's some of them that just go way too hard. It's like kind of insulting to the average person. Yeah. Or you're like, oh, you don't know this. You're, yeah, you should be playing this because you're not smart enough. Right, right. It's like, no, dude, I just have, I just, I spend my time doing other things. Yeah. Besides just, but see, and that's knowledge. a question. Like, what would be your best trivia so you don't even have to think about it? I don't know. I mean, I probably could trust, uh, crush some Twilight trivia. Yeah. That would be pretty easy. Mean Girls trivia. Because I think, like, if it's, yeah, if it's any movie, yeah maybe dumb and dumber <laughs> movie trivia in like 2000s like 90s 2000s maybe i just don't think i know it's, I, I know something like a subject that's really good like like all like i don't know a, like a full subject well I don't, uh-huh. I don't know that's weird. yeah, yeah. That's i mean the only like movie of trivia that i'm not good at is like who won best picture at the 1997 academy awards i'm like i don't fucking know well, nobody before, watches that that was more saving private ryan yeah probably Private Run was either 98 or 99. Sure. I don't remember it coming out that late. I thought that was like 96. Because Forrest Gump was 96. Yeah. And he did Forrest Gump before he did that. Yeah. And Castaway, I think, was 2001. That makes sense. So I think it was 98. See, like, we'll this is like I just know random shit, man. It's yeah. like, I See? know something specific. See? See? I'm, I'm definitely that. I, I'm definitely, fuck the category. I'll be that friend that you just like, gee, like, I don't know if I know this. I'm like, oh, I probably know it. And then I would just get it. Yeah, probably I also have a problem with trivia is like they ask the question and I was like, God, I know this answer, but I can't think of it. And then I'll just be doing something else. I'm like, oh, Two days later. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's I mean, what's what's the strategy? Like, if you really want to be competitive with trivia, what's the strategy towards actually 
being that. I good. mean, if you want to be competitive at trivia, then you have to have a solid team. Like, like I think me and you, me and you would we would be a good starter team, and we just we need like four more. Three well, more then people you, then for, you want like an older person, and then you want like a younger person, so you can cover like literal generational gaps. So we would have me, you, Kirk. I think Kirk would be yeah, a good, yeah. good part. <laughs> We're gonna make this happen. And then who's younger than us? Uh, well, we need like a like a twenty year old younger and like a teenager younger. No, no, we would need a twenty-one-year-old. We're assuming we're drinking. Oh, assuming so. okay, assuming it's a bar, yeah. Then like a twenty-one-year-old. Who would that be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any twenty-one-year-olds. You, you're the one that knows all the Gen Zers. Well, they're shit. all my family. I don't want to hang out with those pieces of shit. <laughs> so yeah, just me, you, and Kirk. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. right. Yeah, I was like, I don't know a twenty-one-year-old. <laughs> Could probably find one. Uh, just yeah. like stick your head out. Who else would have put? Hey, in? you, Mayor. Who else would have put in, in our trivia? Some who, who knows science that we that we mm. know. I think like Skip, I Matt. think Skip would be good on our trivia team. I like get Skip, him as a sports guy in there. Skip would not want to do it. Well, yeah. Regardless, we're forcing them. They're getting assuming we're a competitive trivia team that we win prizes and get paid. Skip would be like, "Yo, I don't want to fucking go to trivia." And it's like, "Yeah, you will pay you like three hundred dollars to do it." And they'll be like, "All right, cool," because that's no. He'd be all right. Bet all right. Bet shout out to Skip, Missy man. Yeah. Uh, okay, so me, you, Kirk, and Skip. I don't know the size of the team too. So let's say five. So five people. More. Yeah. Yeah, who's sciencey that we know? Because we definitely need like a science guy. Bill Nye. Yeah. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Done. Done. Nah, dude, I can't stand that guy. He talks too much. I used to like him. I just uh, he's kind of like Joe Rogan from him. Like I just heard you. I heard your voice too much. I got. Yeah, for away. real. He is Joe Rogan. <laughs> like dead ass. Even on Joe Rogan, he talks more than Joe Rogan. Yeah, right. Those were the worst interviews I've ever seen. I will throw Sally in there. Fuck it. Yeah, all right. Because bring both. Without Kirk, there's no Sally. True. But actually, without without Sally, there's no no Kirk. Oh, got him. Yeah. Sorry, Kirk. Just, just putting it out there. <laughs> I'm sure he knows. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't even think about my wife or anything. Yeah. No, because Heather would, Heather would not want to go. She's like, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. And like, I get like trivia is kind of like polarizing to a point because a lot of people are like, I don't know. I don't want to go and like that kind of shit. And it's like, okay, well, do you really not know? Or you just don't want to know that you don't know things. Cause I'm super cool with not knowing things. I think we would work really well. Cause you, you're nerdy in a different way than I am. It's like your nerdiness is like, cause I'm smart and he's not. No, his nerdiness is more like fantasy. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not like D and D twilight. That's okay. Like firstly, of, like firstly, like, firstly, like all these things that are like super nerdy. Uh, you know more fantasy. about Lord of the Rings than I do. I barely know anything about it. Yeah, I can barely name anything about Lord of the Rings. Okay, so okay, fine. Not Lord of the Rings, but regardless, you're you're more of a fantasy type kind of guy. Like you like that idea it's of strong like, disagree, <laughs> dude. You know what? We're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I I feel like me like I, and movie wise, I think we're both really we have a strong strong suit. On my end, I'm more like sporty, like history. Like, so my nerdiness is really, really more like, oh, it happened. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like you're. Yeah, you're, you're saying like, you know, like. Uh, you're, you're, you're fiction. The, yeah, the fact. Yeah, okay. I was just, I was trying to figure yeah, out the words. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got you, got you. I got feel you. like I was, I feel like I was insulting you until you understood what I was trying to say. No, but like, I'm just not, I'm literally, <laughs> literally not into fantasy at all. That's my least favorite genre of everything. Bruh, he likes Twilight and has a and d group that goes once a week. That's uh, fantasy Firstly, fantasy fuck. is not Twilight. Twilight is not fantasy. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Is it real? That's not how. Is it that's real? not what fantasy is. It is. Real? That's not what fantasy is. What is fantasy then? Fantasy is like Lord of the Rings or like the Pinche. Oh, you like lion, lion, witch in the wardrobe? It's not monsters. Monsters is a completely subcategory. You know, that's not monsters though. Twilight. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's vampires and fucking werewolves, my guy. I'm pretty sure there's vampires and werewolves in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't think so. Harry Potter. Harry Potter's fantasy because it involves magic. Okay, so does Twilight. Twilight does not involve magic. The bitch got sprinkles. They got sparkles. <laughs> oh, sorry, sparkles. Bitch. Again, fantasy. Bitch. No nope. fantasy. <laughs> it's not. It's fantasy. It's, it's fine. definitely not it's fantasy. Fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's not. You don't know what fantasy is, and you read books. Anyway, thanks for Some, tuning in, guys. Sometimes I do. Episode one o two. Because I totally remembered the order of episodes we're doing. Don't forget, you guys, we're still doing DVD extras, so make sure you guys check it out. Did we do a DVD extras with Dakota? Yes, we did. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember. Wow. So make sure you check that one out. If you want to see, if you want to see, like, G, myself, I don't know why I just went third person on that. <laughs> if you want to see myself really, really drunk, that was, that was one. Oh, they've seen it before. Don't worry. No, no, this one was bad. Like, 
It was the drunks because I didn't eat drunk. And that's like oh, the yeah, worst. Oh, that's the worst. It is. But make sure you guys tune into DVD Extras. As always, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching it. If you're not, make sure you check it out. And we, we just look at each other. You can see true emotion of our beliefs even before we say it. It's great. Uh, but if you're also on YouTube and listen to in the car, you can go to Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon, iHeart, Pandora. Uh, I think Napster I don't think as well. we're on Pandora. I think we are. No, we're on uh, Pandora Premium. Uh, well, Pandora, I think podcast, whatever. Regardless, you can probably find us. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Any any final thoughts, Chris? Bye. It's, it's fantasy, you guys. Cheers. I'm into science fiction. Fantasy. Science fiction. Star Trek is fantasy.